Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're all well wherever you are. Before we get started, I would just like to say a big thank you for all the love and support for my previous videos. Today, I will be making chicken bread for you. For this, you will need six cups of flour. Because I'm making two loaves, I'm using six cups. I mean, if you want to make one loaf, then you can half all of the ingredients. I've got six tablespoons of milk powder, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder. I've got three eggs. I've got yeast. I've put two tablespoons of yeast with one tablespoon of sugar in warm water and I've mixed it as you can see it's nicely activated. I've got one cup of milk and I've got six tablespoons of butter at a room temperature. Okay, so let's get started. So to the flour, I'm going to add all the dry ingredients. I'm just going to give that a mix. We need to make sure this is nicely mixed together. Okay, to this I'm going to add the eggs. The yeast. And we're going to mix that. Okay, so I'm going to add some milk. I'm not going to add all of it in one go. I'm going to add a little bit at a time. And we're going to mix that. Okay, at the moment it looks something like that. I've had to use my hands. Now I'm just going to transfer this on the work surface. Okay, so I've just dusted the work surface and I've put the dough on the top as you can see it's nice and soft so now this is where the butter comes in so now we're just going to put the butter in a little bit at a time and we're going to knead it in when you need to make sure you knead it properly this is what makes a perfect dough Okay, it's just going to put some more butter in and we need to make sure all the butter is nicely mixed. So you need to knead the dough for about 20 minutes. Okay, so once the butter is nicely mixed in, it should look something like this. As you can see, it's still sticking onto my hands. I'm just going to knead this for another five minutes. Okay, so once it's done, it should look something like this. It's nice and soft. You don't want your dough to be hard. So now I'm just gonna transfer this in a bowl. Okay, so I'm just going to wet my hands with some oil. I'm going to put it on the top so it doesn't get crumbly from the top and I'm just going to cover it and put it in a warm place. I mean I normally put my bread that I make inside the microwave because I find that's the warmest place to put it in but don't switch your microwave on. So I'm going to let this rest for four hours. I mean the longer you let it rest the better it is. Okay, to make the filling, I've got here four chicken breasts which I've boiled in some lemon juice, salt, black pepper and I've shredded them. I've put some turmeric in it for the yellow colour. I've got some coriander. I've got two bullet chilies, 
two green chilies which I've cut into small pieces. I've got some white pepper, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of red pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic, powdered garlic, one teaspoon of cumin, grounded, one teaspoon of coriander, grounded. Okay, so now I'm just going to put all the dry ingredients in. Okay, to this I'm going to add a packet of mozzarella cheese. Okay, so once it's mixed, it should look something like this. I mean, if you don't want to put chicken inside your filling, you can have a vegetable filling, it's entirely up to you. Okay, so now I'm just going to prepare the bread. As you can see, it, the dough has risen, it's gone doubled in size. Okay, as you can see, the flour is nice and soft. That's how it should be. Okay, so now it depends on if you want to make a big loaf, if you want to make a small loaf. So I'm just going to make two loaves. Okay, so I've just dusted the work surface with some flour and I'm going to roll this out now. I mean, we're not going to make a round shape, we're just going to make it an oval shape. Okay, so once you've rolled it out, it's going to look something like this. And you want it this thick from the sides. Okay, so now we're just going to put the stuffing in. being generous with the stuffing okay okay so now with the help of a knife I mean for this part you can use a knife or you can use a pizza cutter so we're just going to it from the sides okay so we're gonna do it all the way down okay so we're gonna do the same on the other side Okay, so now we're just going to get the top end and we're going to fold it in like that. This one, we're going to overlap it like this. This one's going to go on the top here. Like so. Same with this one. And this one, we're just going to carry on doing this with all of it. Okay, so when you get to the bottom part, we're going to get this part and we're going to fold it on the top like this so it closes it from that side we're going to fold that one like that and then this one's going to go on the top like so okay. egg here I'm just going to egg wash it Okay, so once you've egg washed it, I'm going to put some sesame seeds and I've got kalenji seeds mixed here. This is optional. If you want to do it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. But it just gives it a nice look. Okay. Okay, so this is now done. So now I'm just going to put this on a greaseproof paper and we're going to bake it for 15 to 20 minutes 
I've already preheated the oven at 180 degrees. I mean, all ovens vary, so uh, you can put it according to your oven timing. So now I'm just going to put this in the oven. Okay, so the chicken bread is now ready. It's nicely cooked. It's got a nice golden brown color on the top of it. Okay, so I'll just show you from the bottom. It's nicely cooked from the bottom. As you can see, it's nicely cooked from the inside. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.